Hey, what's going on, y'all? We back at it again. Happy New Year to you. It's the first official video of 2023, and I'm ready, and I'm excited. And just so y'all know, I don't know what we're going to do, but I am trying to find different ways to diversify the channel. I don't just want to do reaction videos. I'm probably going to do some other stuff um, as well. But if you got ideas, let me know what you would love to see more of, and I'll see if I can make it happen. How about that? But I'm so excited about today's video because I'm going to do something different. So I want to do a then and now version of You Can't Hurry Guy with Kiki, Kiara Shirt Kelly, and Dorinda Clark Cole, DCC, singing You Can't Hurry Guy from 20 years ago on Dorinda's self-debuted title album, I think is what you call it. But anyways, I want to look at then and now and like see how Kiara has grown so much. And I don't know about y'all, I've seen snippets and pieces of it but I feel like Dorinda's voice came back with a vengeance. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it came back full throttle. I feel as though like the soprano notes, it's soprano, you hear me? I feel like it's just really clear, not a lot of rasp. I mean, the rasp is there, but her voice is really crystal clear on these clips, on the newer clip that she just released with her concert towards the end of last year. Um, and I think they rebroadcasted it earlier this year. But let me stop talking, let me hit play, and then let's get into it, y'all. I'm excited, let's get it. Here go Kiki, y'all. I gotta wait. I got to wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. That part right there, I think on the newer video from the clips I've seen, I think she did the same thing. I'm gonna put a clip right here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And it sounds definitely not as raspy and it doesn't sound as, well yeah, it doesn't sound as raspy and her voice doesn't sound as young to me here, as clear and more matured as her adult voice has settled in in her 30s. I love it, I love it. And like to see how Kira has grown so much is always just a blessing. But let's get back into it. Yeah. Come on, Kira. Come on, Dorinda. 
a trip. so glad about it I could leave that alone my goodness my goodness it's so difficult to try to pause it because I wanted to try I wanted to try to do a back and forth thing and I was gonna stop it right there but I, like Dorinda ah so good to my soul right so good to my very soul so let me let me calm down but wasn't that good y'all wasn't that good ah so good so good so good so good so that was then let's look at now y'all ready I'm ready Wait, y'all. Yeah, I gotta wait. That was exactly like she did. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Similar thing. Yeah, I gotta wait. Similar thing. Very Karen trumpet inflection like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that is. Like, it kind of helps you shape it. But... So good. Thank you, Eric. All right, let's see what Kiara do now. There's one. Yeah. Come on, Kiara. Yes, Yes, Kira. Yeah. <laughs> She's very twinky. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. They always did say, especially they always used to say back in the day, like when Kira was maybe teenager, teen young adult, whichever one you call it. You know, she was like a, I don't know, I don't know, Corinda comes to mind. Karen and Dorinda and Twinkie, but she was like all three of them wrapped in one because between Karen's notes, Dorinda's stuff, and then you got Twinkie's like growls and squalls, especially. Um, and even some of her musical choices, I think, in Kira's ear, like back in the day, was really crazy. Like some of the stuff she was choosing to do with like a, a more huskier, um, still bright, powerful sound. But let's get back to it. Again, again, that whole very Twinkie, like with the growl on to it too. And you could just see, I could just envision in my mind Twinkie doing that with like her microphone back in the day. And I'm using my phone again, but she'd be like, you'd be like, yeah, give it to us, Twinkie, give it to me now. Woo! 
Don't y'all love these little jingles? And I don't know why I did that in the melody of Be Glorified. I have no idea why. Don't judge me, but that's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, mm, 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 no. I'm not gonna do it, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, do it, do it, do it. Not gonna do it, okay. Cause I started to do the weight on it, my God. Why is this so good, y'all? I don't want it to be over. I wanna talk about it, but I have to keep going back because it's crazy. And now Kier can keep up, so it's, it's beautiful. crazy oh that's unfortunate i think that was like the end of the snippet y'all i'm sorry but wasn't that crazy from then to now like did you hear kiera's growth Like, she did some of the same, I think it's her, uh, I don't know what to call it besides the preaching style, 
but her evangelistic style may be a better way that she ministers the gospel and you know like she has like that Clark sister grit like from her mama where she like growls I'm, I'm trying to think it through it's like because I think I think I think each one of their styles is different I think Jackie just sings I think Dorinda just sings with an occasional growl on there trying to emphasize her point Twinkie I don't know Twinkie Twinkie is melodic in this sense it's very melodic and it's on beat well I want you to find a neighbor to connect with because this is what Twinkie does she stay right here the whole time and that's how she preaches the own um, and then Dorinda, you know, well, I need you to know that if da 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 da, all the stuff. And it's just interesting. And then Karen, y'all know, like, when she gets serious, she starts, like, doing her growl thing, give us that grit that we all love to hear. And it's ridiculous. Karen kind of does the same thing. And it's beautiful to see how her voice has matured and developed throughout the years and how it's just, it has, like, that grit and that level of depth to it. I'm always interested to hear, like, when she does have children, how her voice will change and adapt because it's ridiculous. It's nice now, but I wonder what kind of uh, vocal changes she'll go through. I'm going through some changes. That's what Lettucey said. But I wanna know what it'll be like when she does have a, uh, when her and Jordan finally do have kids and I know they've been praying and interceding for it with all the complications and stuff, but yeah, keep them in prayer, y'all. But wasn't that crazy? So good, so good, so good, so good. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, push the bell so you know when the next video is coming and all the stuff and let me know what y'all want to see more of I'm gonna try to diversify the giant uh, 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 I diversify the channel uh, 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 uh. oh all right peace until next time don't get better because what life does get better I'm out y'all